this is a, a, a fortunate situation that we've got all of the commissioners, the county attorney, and the auditor, auditor sitting yeah. at the same table. So right. uh, the I stars have a line. If, uh, if we can kind of hammer out some details, this might be the time. However, <laughs> I've been to a lot of management training, and the way he's standing with his hands folded is not a real. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever anybody goes this way, he, he <laughs> please don't do that to me. You do have him at the table. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Right. Right. You, have to your yep. you want your arms out like this. Right. Yeah. Like this. Okay. <laughs> Don't let him bully you, man. Yeah. <laughs> uh. yeah, I've been around a few auditors, and they can sidestep a lot of stuff. Yeah, <laughs> Not as good as attorneys. <laughs> I can be quoted that we talked about the other night, and I said that we, with our company, we always said it was a license to steal, because nobody really knows what an auditor can do. <laughs> I am very glad to know that uh, you're taking care of this. Yep. We'll see what we can do with that. That's a big blow. See what they January, April, June, and September. Those are your months. Oh, so I didn't even have those. January. So you could ask for it January 2nd then? Mm -hmm. Except they meet on the 1st. Huh? <laughs> they meet on the 1st. Near there. <laughs> if Lessee has suggestions for capital improvements, Lessee shall submit such suggestions to Lessor in writing. I consider those signed bids in writing. Or do they need to be a cover letter? It's basically the equivalent of the six mil is for the operations. Operations, yeah. Mm -hmm. Anything that is left over for the equivalent of that six mil, the commissioners can use for capital improvements. And it does say on in the contract that the lessor shall be responsible for the maintenance, repair, and replacement as reasonably required. So I think what you can do is all of these, all of the bids that you had, you can present those to the commissioners, and they they um, can go in general, and if they feel it necessary, they can go ahead and make those improvements. Because like Roger said, they own the building. The county owns the building. Raw, raw. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> this is better than Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's got to be a solution. Uh, yes, yeah. there, there is a solution in the way in which it can be done. Um, and that's what we're but, here to sort out. But I think that there is a lot of misunderstanding in the community in regards to what is being expended on that facility. Well, look at the confusion right here at this table. I know, I know. It's no wonder they're And confused. we're supposed to know. Yeah. Well, and what's interesting is when we entered into this whole situation, we had been advised that this this type of business structure had been done before, and we quickly found out that was not in fact the case. Yeah, literally <laughs> not both were on that committee. And yeah, yeah, that's and it was exactly it. what we heard. And so now, you know, all of us are trying to learn how to make this work, but we've got to keep the taxpayers in mind because there are people who don't, you know, understand, and they just see money being poured and poured and poured into this facility. And when it, the taxpayers also. Yes, that is true. So. Collect those names yeah. and put them on the board. <laughs> yeah, okay. I know. If, if you want to have a say in how this this is done, get involved. Yeah. Right. Because well, it's not easy. No, it's not. No, it is not. And you're bearing the brunt of it. Uh, I mean, and we appreciate that. But... Let's get these repairs done. We'll figure out a way to pay for them. Okay, very good. Especially something that jeopardizes the safety of the building, yeah. like the the water issue and the drainage. And the yes. license. In those cases, we're already been in violation twice on those doors. Well, yeah, they're not going to tolerate that much no. longer. No. We didn't know it, but we uh, had. you said they've been ordered. Yeah. Yes. And the contract, uh, the contractor who's installing them, Brock McAtee. 
in case somebody. So if you do get a visit by the fire marshal in the interim, you can show them the fact yes. that hey, we, we documented yeah, it. Or we have. Or they're in. Right. The, they're in our minutes yeah. that it's been ordered. Okay, so we can because they were special order. They were. You know, so it was the thirty first. If we do all this for you guys, do you mind if we get new chairs? Can I have your own ones? Chairs are wore out. What are so you going of forward, that stuff comes <laughs> out in general. <laughs> Would you donate those to the motorcycle well, museum? Right right the bat, you, you, you don't want them because if you lean back, you and you're going to take a ride. Yeah, yeah you get yeah. Roger. Roger, you can't have wheels on them because the yeah. yeah. sit down on them. Your age. Yeah. <laughs> can't have wheels. No. Yeah. Okay. Whatever you say. Well, I don't know that I'm any clearer on everything, but. Uh, Basically what it boils down to is this equivalent of six mil is to make sure that you have nursing staff. The operations, operations are, are going smoothly. When it comes to these capital improvements, that's a different ball game. Well, I think the maintenance issues right. are on us. Right, because the county owns the buildings. Oh, thank you. So, thank you. Uh, Could that be changed to where, cause didn't you say in the contract it says it's actually got to be spent before or in the year it's expended or whatever. Is there any reason? There was an interpretation that? By, by John in the discussions that triggered John responding. I'd have to pull all those emails. I think I, um, I'm pretty sure I saw what you're talking about. And I guess my thought would be, would be there be any reason you can update the contract and just say upon approval of the commissioners like you get down to the end of the year, you got some money left, and there's stuff that needs to be done. Could they just approve it? Well, but it that's going to be coming out of the general anyway. Yeah, right. I mean, his price is going hairs. back into the general. Right, because everything so. Eddie's talking about right. is a capital improvement. Right, right. <clears throat> and so that's not even going to be, or you know, the way in which the contract is written, it's not a part of that equivalent right. of six mil. Right. Okay. Okay. So, like I mentioned a little while ago, that the boiler repair replacement was 37500 See, now that came out of ours, and it should have came out of the county general, correct? Mm -hmm. That yeah. just means you well, had $77,000 that you turned back to us. Yeah. And I'll go through the rest of my stuff. Hey, now, okay. let's not get carried away. <laughs> now, <laughs> the water I, that's under I the want, bridge is already yeah. gone. But I want the public to know how much of it we did not use. They need to know that. And, I, and that's a valid point, because... Yes. That's the first time that's happened in this county for pick it up and tell them decades. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you think they're listening? <laughs> they ain't listening. Oh, yeah. right. Well, I'm going to get the rest of the numbers put together besides just the boiler replacement. <laughs> so, okay. are we saying that it's okay to go ahead and do yeah. all of those? Yeah. Well, no, the, now? the rest of that. Those two were approved. The yeah, hot water, I believe, was that eighteen thousand dollars. Well, there was one earlier for thirty-seven. Right, but I mean at the December meeting. Okay. Yes, yes. But the, yeah, the we boiler need to make, and the we need to know, make sure, and I know you'll do it. Anything that that we're going to do on the facility, it's got to be approved through us. Right. right. Well, these all have been. Yeah, Everything I know, done. But you know what I mean. Leave it that. Keep doing what we're doing. Yes, keep yes. doing what we're doing because we got to have the money to do it too. Yeah. We were under, but we, we have to keep in mind too that you can't do all of it at once. No, no, that's what we got to put. And they've done yeah. the right thing here. They prioritize <coughs> what they feel is. Yeah. Next, we don't. We don't even have a budget. The the drainage to issue. You need to get that approved. Do you still have it? Because that wasn't approved. Yet. <coughs> I don't have it with me. Okay. I got you'll it you'll have to get that approved yet. So. Did you have bids on that drainage? I did not. And that's what in sec second of your priorities? Fire doors first? Because you have Yes. You have approval for two, those yeah. the boiler and the fire doors. That's okay. it. The rest of it you'll have to come back in. Okay. But that's the reason, see a lot of these were through one contractor and I told him break each one down so we could fund, you know, work it through as money was available. Well, okay. From this point forward, just make sure you get your bids 
for maintenance and repair. Bring them to us. Three if you can get them. Three if you can get them. <laughs> and the, reason I don't, can. the reason I only have one, Mike, on those fire doors, uh, the other contractor oh, wasn't them. interested. <laughs> Well, see, and that's explainable. And it's the same on that uh, drainage system on the east side. You it's know, also I drainage checked the, on the south side. That was a problem too, wasn't it? Yes, but it's not a priority. The east side is. It is. I mean, I've got. Come I mean, in the door. We, I mean, wanna, I've, we don't want to do. We do not want to evacuate that building. No, I know. I know. So uh, anyway, that's. Okay, we're kind of resolved here. I have another issue, and it's not an issue. This is a question, and I think I might have your solutions, but I don't know. But i got to put my other hat on, and let's go to the, the building commission. That was a six mil building commission, and we had the monies, and, the, and we paid the bond, and there was money left over. Because we, the bond payment is nothing like the six mils. It's less than the six mils. That gets put back into the to fund it. Later, if there's not enough money. Yeah, and uh, I think we kind of agreed up front when we were doing all this that that would just be an ongoing fund that we would just accumulate. Right, because yeah. we never know where down we're the road we're going to be. in trick resolution. Yeah, right? I, 10 I, years from now or 15. You might be, yeah. Uh, so I think we all agreed, and that's kind of the way I understood that. One of the things that I did want you to consider out of that six mills, I'm of the opinion of rather than get caught with these emergency things that we should start a program of upgrading as we go a little bit. If some of that money could be used other than just a bond, for example, of the rooms, if a remodel of a room or an upgrade. I don't think- Would that come out of your general fund then? Yeah, I- No, I don't leave that so. intact. But then in other words, so the, it, once again, would that come out of the general <clears> fund? Because <throat> the, the, right now we're very fortunate. We build all these doubles where everybody found, we got the, the largest, I think the largest private rooms in Northwest Kansas, because those doubles now are singles. None of you have been up and seen them, and they're nice, but they do need upgraded. And so if we could start doing that on a room, just not shutting down two rooms, three rooms, because then you lose the residence, but just start that, down the road it'll actually save us money, because the longer we put it off, the more it'll cost. Mm -hmm. And we can probably do that all local contractors with, you know, because it's painting, flooring, simple things. As a, as a room comes vacant. Yeah, and, and just start on one end and just kind of work ourselves down that hallway. And uh, I guess based on this conversation, that's the reason I wanted to bring it up, especially after our, is that something that falls on the county to fund? I mean, if we come in and got a I think first, I mean, at first, what you, you guys need to figure out is how this is all going to cash flow yeah, and get it more stabilized in regards to what expectations... And I've worked really hard on that. <laughs> yeah, and what expectations are going to be before you start talking any sort of up upgrades, upgrades, upgrades and okay. such. Because, yes, I mean, any sort of improvements is going to come out of the, the general because that... PBC fund, whatever is left over, that it is goes into a capital improvement, but yeah. that is specifically for that bond payment. Yes, okay. so that's not that's really what, capital. Improvement. That's what that's, it's not capital. Yeah, okay. Right, that Good. that um, boat was for the building of that facility. On and that so that note, money is earmarked. It's certified Good. for on that. On that note, Gilmore Bell has a follow-up report that they're going to file in March for $3,500, and it's been approved here. But can that be paid out of that fund 150 Because that's a direct that's cost. That's a PBC. And that's a direct cost of the bond. Right. So that can come out of right. the okay. fund 150 Right. Yes, this okay. Is, I'm better off today than I was when I walked in here. So that's, All right. That's the kind of thing that I, because down the road we know we've got to keep. I mean, so, so I think when you see the need, time for yeah. Come and talk. Just come and get your bids. Come and visit with us. And but that's looking into the future. And the future, yeah, that's down the road. We're putting out fires. <laughs> well, there's a couple of them there that, that yeah. are real concerns that need to be addressed now. So now back to that roof insurance. Like I say, I spent half a day with the roofer, uh, going through stuff all day with two adjusters. One of them was from Kansas City. One was from Chicago. I'm in the 
midst of getting three bids because that's something that needs done in the spring and spring's coming and uh, and I don't even know if I'm supposed to be doing this or you guys should be doing this maybe I'm overstepping I don't want to be doing stuff I'm not supposed to be doing taking care of a roofing issue that was not on my radar impossible to answer that because we've never been faced with that before we're as new as you are well, then it's your job. <laughs> no, no, that's right. I don't remember agreeing to that, but... I think we could delegate it to someone else. <laughs> yeah. So if you want me to continue that? I think so, because you have your finger on the pulse. We really don't. Yeah, well, we leased you the facility, and I think you need to... Have you seen my contract? Yeah, I think you were the idiot that did it. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't seen my contract. I don't know if I'd use that word. Pissing <laughs> <laughs> off. Uh, you're going to get a full page ad in the paper when you retire from this job. That'll be your pay. <laughs> yeah, well, they need that information by Tuesday to get the papers, so consider it now. I want it the next the, week's paper. At the meeting Wednesday, there's a, I think I quote this right, six person waiting list at the assisted living and a six person waiting list at the nursing home. Yeah. And they were just pleasantly surprised of how they filled up. And they was even comfortable budgeting, which I really questioned them a long time of really keeping it pretty full. Well, you know, given the overview of the whole situation here, I, we couldn't be happier. Yeah. I mean, this thing has unfolded out. Yeah, there's some bumps, but so much better off than what we were. And the majority of the thanks should go to Eddie. He's put a lot of work and effort and time in this. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In fact, I he... He, I actually had to tell him to do not email me at two o'clock in the morning because he was actually I'd get new email from him at two o'clock in the morning. I leave my morning. phone in another location. <laughs> is our audit included with the county's audit? Yes. Is it going forward? Yep. Going forward. Okay. Yep. Oh no, no. Wait. What is your question? Audit. Is our audit included in the county audit? Ooh. It's, now that's a big question. We just voted on an auditor. You're talking about the but operations. He's got, he's got it handled. There. Well, if you're talking about the operations, that's separate. He's not talking about different. public buildings. Yeah, yeah. not covered. Or PVC. He's, yeah. he's taking care of this. That one, I understand. Yeah. But what was your question? The audit that we had talked about the other night. No, that's not covered. Yeah, that's, that's not in there. No. separate. Okay. okay. This oh, was yeah. a this was a red alert. Yeah. Wednesday. Yeah. Okay. Good. Okay. But the answer is no. PBC's covered, CCV's not. Yeah, that's. I was when you said yes, I'm saying that's. <laughs> what would you guess that costs? <laughs> I'm always shocked. I, what was it? Fifteen thousand dollars. Twenty thousand four hundred. He's looking like that's cheap. Well, yeah, I was gonna say twenty-five. <laughs> I know what the one in Norton is. Now. Well, I, if there's any other questions, we appreciate your time. We'll keep moving forward. And, uh, we'll tackle yeah. these we think up. we've got a lot of stuff we're worth we're doing because we're all here this morning. So, entered a lot of progress. Yeah. We don't get involved with those types of audits. So, I don't know so sure the requirements, yeah. but like the county, it's every year under state law, they require audits. So. All right, thank you, thank guys. You, thank you, Leslie. Thank you, Eddie. It was a good morning. I don't know how you were paid that. It was a good morning. It's, bill, it. but it's it really a direct bad. cost of the bonds, too, so this is how I'll leave that with you guys how you want to do that. So. Okay. But that is directly related to the issuance of the bonds. That's the reason we had to do it. So. Yeah. That'd be my thought. Yeah, yeah that'd be my hey. thought. God, we that's appropriate sure because sure I mean it's no different than you know, your consultants, you. your <laughs> right. bond issuers, and all those fees. It's just same type of deal. So I think my thought would okay. just take it he's, out there. He's saying this PBC audit should come out of the bond fund. Oh yeah. Just because it's just yeah. I mean, like I was saying, just like the you know bond issuing costs and all those Exa it's exactly. cost of the bonds. If you wouldn't issue them, you wouldn't have to have it. So. 
see what we can do. All right, Brian. Good enough. Brian. Thank yep. you. Thank you. Brian. Thanks. Learn to every day. So, see, I, when we had a contract with Good Sand, I don't know that I'd call it a contract. Well, but I mean, <laughs> but I mean, he would come in here and he needed a new boiler. He'd come out of the six metals. Yeah, but we wanted to avoid that. That's the reason for the contract changes when we went with John Grace. Well, but it's, but now it's occurring just a but different. But now, where are we going to get the money to do updates? Now it's going to the new boiler is going to come out of the general. So every year, the the any amount left over. What you're going to have to watch is from the their equivalent. Okay, here's the thing. They had forty some thousand left over. Right, right. So you can use that forty some thousand for the capital improvement. Yes. It's just it doesn't have its own line item. It's back in general. Back in general. Yeah. And is that going to be all right going forward, or should we line item that specifically? I think we should line item it. Can, well, but you know, we, we can't. Like we the, can't. It's an appropriation. Mm. We yeah. can't. We can't, can't. Make, we can't make a capital outlay for ourselves. That's your junior. Well, no. I mean, anything that's left over is going to go back into the general in our reserves. I think it's good. They're going to, it's going to help them. I mean, we can keep track of what's going on. Right. But I think it's going to put us in a bind in general. In the general. Well, well, it depends on how much you let them spend. Yeah. Right. I mean, if you if you stick it's up to, to your the approval, forty thousand that was left over for this next year, you know, and you do it that way. Well, our hopes is that number is going to increase as the years go by here. Uh, right. Yeah, we'll just have to. Just track it. We'll just have to do like any other entity that comes in here. We'll have to look at it, see if it's justifiable. Look at the bids and then approve it. But all the yeah, while keeping track of what's left over every right, year. Right. And try and keep it within that amount. Right. But I could understand the frustration too. Mm -hmm. I can too. But you know, we can't emphasize this enough. We have no business model to to refer to right. on this whole thing. And we'll I mean, know a lot more five years from now than we know right now. Exactly. Okay. Good morning, DJ. Good morning. Yeah, Please don't hurt our heads any further. Yeah, don't. Break. Let's be kind of gentle here. Okay. No, yeah, I'm just teasing. Yeah, did you know we're going to put a bronze statue up for you? Well, thank you. <laughs> That's going Wait, to be. Is he on the list? That, that is going to be no, pretty no, ugly. Mm. Face. Is that guy digging in the dirt? <laughs> I think you have to put a sprayer in his hand. <laughs> <laughs> and a prairie dog baiter in the other one. Please. Well, I want to start out with the uh, state right away contract. Uh, I did not fill it out completely this year because I want to recommend an increase to our equipment of $10 an hour. We've had to put quite a bit into equipment and they keep adding areas for treatment, the kiosks, the state guard, bare ground under cell towers, oil tanks. It, it, it's getting a little more work every year. So what was it? Uh, we were at $50 an hour for labor, $50 for equipment, totaling $100. And you want to go to 65? Uh, yeah, I'd like to raise equipment to 65. It would be my recommendation, but that is for you to make a motion on or stay the same. Leave it at 50 per hour for labor. And that's what you charge to whoever? 
the state oh, of Kansas. State of Kansas. State of Kansas. We yeah, we spray all their highway right of ways. And like I said, last year they added kiosks, the state shop yard, the whole entire fenced in yard, oil tank batteries here and in Bird City on the highway. And it's a lot of running around. So then this increase would make $110 an hour for man and equipment. Is that kind of the normal going rate? Uh, I've been quite busy here lately with prairie dogs. I've not made it to many of the weed, Western Weed District meetings in the last four months. So I did call around and check with some guys. And yeah, there's they're making increases. Well, they're requesting increases, not that it's been approved by any of the other boards that I know of. But a lot of the guys are moving up to from 10 to $20 an hour. And it's mainly for equipment. Due to the expense of equipment, it just keeps going up and up. And staying where we are, well, I mean, we'll we'll still recoup expenses. It just, I mean, it was just my recommendation to do a small increase. And that would only apply right to the state. Yeah, that only applies to the state. So, so it's not to private citizens. No. Did you can, get that? Can you do that? What's that? Can you charge different? Oh, yeah. Yes. You know, yes. You can do that. This is along the highways. So yeah, this is for the state this right is away. Them. Yeah, instead of state employees doing it or state coming up with uh -huh. equipment, they prefer to hire us where we have equipment. At the county's, you know, with the county expense, it's in the contract if you would like to read it. And we're offered it every year. It really does help our department, the Moxless Wheat Fund, to keep moving forward every year. Did you get the acre thing taken care of? Uh, you, no, I can't change it now, but I do know why it is the way it is. We need to, I need to change how I do the road and bridge tickets. Okay. Because we updated the uh, STAR programming, didn't cost anything, that's just part of our service and stuff we have with that. But I was now informed that it goes off chemical sale, not by the actual acres I put on the ticket. So it's only showing acres by chemical sale. Oh. And so I have to change the format of our ticket, and it should correct the okay. situation. All right, good. So, yes, I'll need a motion to approve the price, labor, and equipment for the state contract. Do you see that? This is the same as last year. You're just changing yes. the amount, right? Yes. I actually got it to you. Well, thank you. Last year, I didn't know I was supposed to get it. Well, normally they send me a copy, but if it happened in the last two years, it's now going to you. A lot of information there that more of a... And in, in previous years, normally where we were at, we generate about $2,800 back for equipment expenses <coughs> and chemical with through the sales for the state and with the hundred dollars it's in and all the extra areas we did put on last year that increased to five thousand dollars so i mean it, it bumps yeah. us up a little bit yeah i can think we need first of all is, uh, do you have any other discussion on the rate increase with the state do I hear a motion to go ahead and approve the rate increases to the state of Kansas for right of way noxious weed treatment? Comes from what, 50 to 65? Yes. Somewhere. For just equipment. Just equipment. Uh, I thought you said 60. 65. 60. 65. No, excuse me, 60. Is it? Let's get our numbers right. I only need to increase $10 to cover okay. our equipment cost. Okay. $60 for equipment, $50 for labor. 
I'll make a motion to approve that. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, now we have the actual county annual noxious weed report, which is Leslie and I've just talked about. Some of the numbers in here are only in the hundreds because it goes off chemical sale, not actual acreages. So it, it's very confusing because for every one mile of county right away, which